Learning how to script can be very frustrating when starting out. In this video, I'm going to teach you some basics and then in future videos, we'll move on to more complicated and more difficult concepts. So let's get started. When you open up Studio, go into New tab and we're going to create a base plate. This is the, basically the default template and basically loaded it. Okay. So I'll go ahead and just insert a random script. You can just click here if you're unfamiliar and then just search up script. Okay, so the default text says print hello world. Now, if I run this, it will just print hello world. Basically running this, it doesn't like spawn your character. It just runs it. So we don't, that's not very useful. Okay, we don't want that. Instead, Let's try creating a function. Let's name this function. If you have any prior coding experience, you will know what functions do. So I'll actually name this add. And let's have two parameters, A and B. Now, this function alone won't actually run anything. You're gonna have to call it. So before we forget, we're gonna call it and capitalization matters. So here, we're gonna say print A plus B. And that will basically get the sum. So let's try 13 and 5. When we run this, this should print 18. Okay. So that's the function. Now, what if we wanted to say, we wanted to repeat a string value. And a string value is basically like a string of numbers. It's usually in quotes, like whatever, like this. That's the string value. Also, certain properties like name are also string values. So let's just say local string value equals, and we're gonna say test string. And in this function, I'm gonna put string. I'll put that in capital because lowercase that actually has a special property. So we're gonna leave that for later let's just say print this strings so whatever we input into this function it will print it so what if we say repeat and then string value and actually I'm gonna create a for loop basically what a for loop does it goes you set a variable equal to the minimum value the maximum value and the step and you say do and then end on the end of the loop what this will do is it will set this variable to one the first time it's running and every time it loops through this it will increase it by one unit which is this third value so I will become two so I'll print that to show you what I mean so we're gonna say I equals and then in order to combine strings you have to put dot dot and we're just gonna put I so let's just see what this gives us so as you can see it prints test string and then says equals one and then keeps printing that and loops through this prints this a lot of times and then as you can see the i value increases by one for every step so those are some basic things in this video we're going to cover some number things in the next video such as integers float double all those what those terms mean and be sure to subscribe join the discord server in the description and go ahead and watch more tutorials